Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Thank you so much for staying with us. It's definitely time to cheer up your day. And we are joined by Mrs. Blossom Madua Fakwa, and we're going to be looking into body wellness. So if you're looking at how to keep fit for your mind, body, and soul, then she is the person that's here to give you all the tips and tricks today so that you know exactly what you're doing over the weekend. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Now, I understand that you're the founder of Zumba Fitness. So I'm, I'm guessing you're into not Zumba. The, I'm actually not the founder of Zumba Fitness. Okay. So Zuma Fitness was founded by Beto Perez. Okay. He's a Colombian. But I promote Zumba Fitness in Nigeria. Amazing. So yes. what exactly does Zumba Fitness entail? So Zumba is cardio workout to music. It's fun. So You're fun. working out. You're having so much fun, you don't even know you're burning calories. Honestly, I think the yeah. last time I did Zumba was about three years ago, and it oh, was the wow. best experience of my life because you burn so many calories, yes, but you're you having so, so much fun, fun with it, you know? Exactly. So would you say that Zumba is your favorite way to work out? Zumba is actually my favorite way to work out. Another way that I like to work out is running. I run marathons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amazing. So running, yeah, running is fantastic. It's like when you're I think you're a two-time marathon winner, right? Three, not winner, runner. Runner. Finisher. <laughs> Finisher, two yeah. times. Actually, three times. Wow, yeah. that is amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. So, so how do you how do you put yourself towards that? Because a lot of people find that Lagos is such a busy city and they right. don't have time to work out, etc. But yeah. people want to get fit. People want to find ways yeah. to get out there and keep up to date with their fitness. So how do you imbibe it into your schedule? So one thing I've, I've learned, if you want to do something very, very, you want to do it really well, you want to do it badly enough, you will find time to do it. So what I do is I find out the best way to get my workout is to get it out of the way first thing in the morning. So when, for example, when I'm training for a marathon, I can wake up at five in the morning to run. You get your workout, you do your miles, 10, 15, 20 miles, get it out of the way. By eight o'clock, you're done. You get on with your, with your day. So brilliant. That's, uh, yeah, that's how that I get brilliant. my workout in. Amazing. Yeah. Now let's take a look at fitness in terms of mental health. Mental health has been up for discussion a lot of late it in has. Nigeria. We've it had several has. cases coming into the media mm -hmm. and into the limelight of suicide attempts, people suffering Very from correct. depression. And we know how serious mental health is as an issue here in mm -hmm. Nigeria. Why is fitness important for one's mental health? Fitness is very, very critical for one's mental health because, first of all, when you do fitness, it gives you a passion. You have a passion. You have something to look forward to. So it gives you something that you do during the day. And then as you're working out, in your, your, your hormones, you have endorphins, you have adrenaline. All those hormones help you to improve your mood. It helps you to, to feel better about yourself. And then when you're working out, you're, you're losing weight, you're burning calories, you're building your, your, your fitness level. You, you look better, you feel better in your clothes. You kind of feel better about yourself. I so can, it yeah. helps your general mental health. That's brilliant. Now, a couple of weeks ago, Olive and I had Mrs. Bumi George on the show. And yeah. she was saying to us that it's basically impossible to actually lose weight by just exercise. That You actually need to devote yourself to a calorie deficit and yeah. you need to watch what you eat. Absolutely. What would you say about that? And how do you go about incorporating that into your entire fitness regime? So this is what I tell people. Your diet is 80%. Your workout is 20%. And that's the truth. That has been my experience. I've been doing this for 24 years. And I can tell you that what you actually put in your mouth is more important than the workout that you're doing. Wow. So, yeah, exactly. So, for someone my age, my height, the number of calories I need to sustain my current weight and well being is about 1,500 calories. So when you're eating that jollof rice, fried plantain, you know, you you know, know what I really like to eat? <laughs> Going for the second portion, exactly. the third portion. So in that one meal, you've consumed about 1,000 calories. Wow. I mean, so how much exercise really can you do? I mean, to burn like 500 calories, that's about five miles of running. Wow. So like how many people can actually do that? So, so what is yeah. your diet like? So my diet, so I have what I call diet principles. My first diet principle is no sugars at all. So like that would be like your soda, like your Fanta, Coke, all of that stuff. I cut all of that out. No simple sugars. My second diet principle is I limit my white carbohydrates. And what are white carbohydrates? They're like your white rice, like your pasta, like your 
um, processed, like your, your pastries, yeah. your meat pie, things like that. Oh, don't say I, that. I'm a meat pie addict. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm so such sorry. a meat pie addict. <laughs> <laughs> so those are things I limit. I'm not saying you, will ne you should never eat those things. I don't know. You limit them. They're not part of, they don't make up your daily diet. Yeah. So things that you should go big on will be your good carbohydrates. That will be like your plantains, your beans, your, you have your vegetables, your fruit as well. Those are things that you go big on. And then cut down on the on, obviously fried food because one, one I mean, um, fats have a lot more calories than, say, carbohydrates carbohydrates and protein so so basically you boil your plantain this weekend don't plantain. fry it <laughs> i mean eat your fried plantain once in a while but like i mean you're not going to be eating it for breakfast lunch yeah. and dinner that, absolutely that work, absolutely yeah. that is great that is great yeah. now a lot of people i'm sure are out there listening and would like to know some home fitness tips and tricks things that people can do at home to keep themselves fit every day a bit of cardio exercises mm -hmm. and regimes what do you incorporate into your home fitness regime so this is what I tell people, you need to maintain some activity when you're home. So like, do some chores. Do your laundry by hand. Walk up the staircase. Sweep the floor, the old fashioned way. Those are little ways that we can get our workout in. Instead of sending someone on an errand, do it yourself. Yeah. So these are things you can do at home. Carry your own bags. Don't let, you know how Nigeria is, there's always someone Running around to carry your, your bags for you. Carry your own bag. It might not mean much to you, but you it's a lot of you're burning some Absolutely. calories. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's the little things here it's in Nigeria that here stop people from yes. actually being able to maintain a healthy exactly. lifestyle. Exactly. I'm in the supermarket sometimes and I can see a madame next to me telling her driver, I'm not packing the bags, exactly. carry everything to the car. And it's exactly. like, girl, no, just do it for yourself. For yourself. Get it done. Yeah. Because if you were anywhere else in the world, you will be doing it yourself. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So for people out there who just want to get started with their own fitness routines mm -hmm. and get into fitness, what advice would you give to beginners so this is a, the advice i give to people the first thing you do is try out different things try walking try if you can do try running try running try aerobics there are different types there's zumba there's high ball there's step try different things and then find out what you love i have friends that they cannot do zumba to save their lives mm. they hate dancing but they love boxing so i and I don't like boxing. I love to dance. I like things that are fun. So do different things and then find out what you love because it's what you really love to do that you're going to do for a very long time. Absolutely. Yeah. So if anyone's out there watching and they're interested in getting involved, do you run any programs that people can get involved so in? So absolutely. Actually, tomorrow we have a big, big Zumba event. It's called a Zumbathon. So that would be a Zumba marathon. It's called a Zumbathon in the park with DJ Jimmy Jazz. It's at Murray Collar Park, 7 a.m. in the morning. It's opposite um, law school, 7 a.m. in the morning. We're going to be having over 300 people coming out to do Zumba. It's going to be so much fun. We have prizes to give away. Amazing. Yeah, I cannot wait. So that's a Murray Konala Park tomorrow at yeah. 7 in 7 the morning. In the morning. Yeah. So aside from Zumba, what other fun ways are there, in your opinion, to mm -hmm. keep fit? So, well, uh, let me speak from my, from my own experience. I, run, I have a running group. So whenever I'm training for a marathon, we, we come together, we train together. And I find out that the, the community, the companionship, it, 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 it motivates you to, you know, to do what you need to. Like sometimes you don't want to do, you don't want to run, but you see other people, they're having fun. You guys are like my, at the end of mile five, someone says, oh, let's take a selfie. Yeah. It's fun and interesting. So you, it's something you look forward to and you, you're working out, you're having fun, you're laughing with your friends. So that's, that's what I great. do. Yeah. So what I say is make sure you're having fun. Now, there are also a lot of people out there who walk to get their exercise. They believe that, let me just go out there, let me just walk, and that's yeah. how I'm going to get my exercise. Yeah. Now, for some people, it's because that's just the easiest way for them. It can mm -hmm. do with health implications. Yeah. And for others, sometimes we can see it as laziness. Yeah. There's no one to run. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about walking in terms of fitness? How impactful is it? I used to be a walker, actually. So when I started... Um, like fitness, I, I, was only, I, used, I only used to walk. So I would walk, walk, walk on the treadmill. And then I had, by the time I had my third child, 
I couldn't lose. Wait, wait, you have three children and you're looking this good. No, I have four actually. Four and you're looking this good. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> so by the time I had my third child, I couldn't lose the weight. I did every single thing I, I needed. I thought I was going, going to do to succeed. I couldn't. So one trainer at the gym said, why don't you try running? I said, no, no, no. I'm not one of those runners. I'm not one of those runners. <laughs> but then I got so frustrated. So one day on the treadmill, I just started running. And that was how I started running. So wow. what I say is, if walking is fine for you, I mean, you're happy with walking, please go ahead and walk. And if your physician has told you that you can only walk, please only walk. But what I say to my walkers is, try five minutes of running. You will regret it. Hmm, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Now, Blossom, is there any such thing as too much fitness? I wouldn't say too much fitness. But I, I would say that sometimes you can work out too much. Why do I say that? Because our muscles need to have time to recover. So what I do is I, I, can, I can take one or two days off every week. I'm not working out. I'm not doing anything. I'm just taking it easy. So if your muscles don't recover, then you're overworking your muscles. And then you start having diminishing returns. Yeah. So you have to always have a day or two of rest. Now, there are a lot of women who often want to keep their weight in other places and yes. lose the weight on the stomach. They're like, I, I get just want a flat time. stomach. Everything else should stay the same. <laughs> Is it possible? <laughs> I wish it were. <laughs> but that's not the way the, the body yeah. works. So your body doesn't know where weight should. All it knows is your fat stores are being reduced it doesn't matter it doesn't care where it's coming out yeah. from so once you start dropping those calories and start working out more the fats will start going everywhere so you, you don't get to choose where it goes from sorry <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least which is probably the first question that i should have asked yeah. you 24 years as a fitness enthusiast yeah. what led you down that path so what you know, I had to actually think about this like a few weeks ago. And you know, it's my mom. Growing up, my mom was just slim. I, I'm, the last, I'm the last child. So I grew up with all my brothers. I was the last child. And my mom was just slim. It wasn't even... So when I got married and started having kids, it wasn't even a question as to, should I? Or it was like, I have to be like my mom. Yeah. <laughs> I get what yeah. you mean. I get exactly what yeah. you mean because my mom is also very slim. Exactly. And I've managed, I've actually lost a lot of weight, like 25 kg in about two years. Whoa, but I was bro. always like a size 12 and my mom was an eight. And I was thinking, hmm, so after me, I now right. have children. What's going to happen to me? So I completely understand yeah. what you're saying there. Yeah. So yeah. look out for people around you who may just be your fitness motivation and push you to getting into the gym. It may be your best friend or it may be your mother. Thank you so much, Blossom. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. So how can people contact you on social media if they want to find out any more information? So please follow us at Blossoms Fitness Hub. It's at Blossoms Fitness Hub on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube. Follow our YouTube channel at Blossoms Fitness Hub. Thank you. We'll and once you. again, what time is the event tomorrow? And 7, 7 a.m. tomorrow, Muriel Kola Park. Do not miss this. DJ it's Jimmy Jad. Zumbathon with DJ Jimmy Jad. And at the end, we're going to have a dance-off. And we're going to be giving away a prize to be an authentic Nike, Nigerian Nike jersey pants. Ooh. Yes. You know, those are hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're going to be giving that away to the winner of our dance-off. Okay, yeah. okay. So don't forget, 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, Muriel Konola Park for some Zumba with DJ Jimmy Jatt. And you can also follow at Blossoms Fitness Hub on all social media platforms, including YouTube, if you do want to find out more information or get some fitness inspiration. Thank you so much, Blossom, for so being much here. Thank you so much for having me. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.